We are in the Big Smoke. We've been invited down to London by the City of London Police to review the new Volvo unmarked XC90. Stick with us, it's going to be a good one. Let's meet the man that drives this fantastic machine, and it's Jordan from City London Police. Jordan, how are you? Good morning. How are you doing? You alright? Very well, thanks. Best handshake that one. It. Go on, one more. Go on, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so Jordan is the advanced driver that drives this police vehicle around London. So Jordan, first of all. Give us the pros and cons of driving such a big vehicle around the city centre of London. Okay, so it's incredibly busy here. It's very congested. Uh, the streets are small. Uh, there's HGVs, we've got buses, all these different goods vehicles. So this itself, a big Volvo, presents a lot of difficulties getting around, getting to jobs and chasing people. So what people don't know is City of London is somewhat completely different from the Met, isn't it? You are not, the Met, you are not, um, partnership with Met, you are nothing, you are your own little police force in your own little area. Do you know when it was created and why it was created? So that, that is correct, completely different, different uniform, everything, uh, our, our own force area to cover. Uh, we were formed 184 years ago. Fantastic. Um, if you could do the maths. I don't, no, I can't. No, because I can't. <laughs> um, <laughs> 184 years ago. Um, and what was your other question? Shall we get a calculator now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Just yeah. confirm that. <laughs> Uh, no, why, why were it created then? Obviously, because you only patrol, is it 1.1 square miles? Yeah, 1.12 square miles to be, so that, to be exact. So that sounds strange when you've got forces all around the UK that will be patrolling hundreds of square yeah. miles. Yeah, yeah. So why is your area so small? So uh, the the original London, this is what it is, Londinium, this place here. Uh, Game yeah, of Thrones. The, Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it had the London Wall. Yeah. It had the London Wall around it, the Romans. Yep. made all this well the Romans made everything um, but they had the London Wall and this was the police force that protects this area right. it, I mean, it's more known today as the financial area the yeah. financial district uh, it does sound like a very very small patch but it's so busy isn't it it's, so, it's the most densely populated area so you've anywhere got, you've got roughly half a million people that come past this area every single day and from we've been here from what nine o'clock in the morning mm. and it's just been gridlocked everywhere has been gridlocked so patrolling somewhere like this to me it's bedlam all the traffic's literally start stop you can't get over say 40 miles an hour in yeah. a pursuit or anything so if you're looking at vehicle crime now um what's your thoughts when you're having pursuits in areas like this then so it, as i say it, it presents its own difficulties the the nice thing about this it's it's bold it's big it's got a lot of presence people can see it people can hear it the agility of this you know we're able to get over central reservations uh we might be able to go up curbs that some of our smaller vehicles our three series one series can't do before we want to go off look Look at his kit. Look at every single thing he's got on his kit. You are fully. If this is going to be police coming, you'd be tackled very well, yeah. Barry, you're next. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so starting from bottom, tell us what you've got because you are fully strapped up, aren't you? So fully from strapped. your leg, what have you got on your leg? Uh, so I've got uh, my pre-hospital trauma care yep. kit that we carry. So you've got your Leatherman, you said? Yes, so, so scissors. Fantastic bit of kit, Leatherman. Fantastic recommend bit of kit. Anybody yeah. out there, if you need a Leatherman, get one bought. Obviously, I'm not selling them or all like that. <laughs> um, not yet. <laughs> not yet. So you've got tourniquet. Uh, tourniquet. Right, yeah. Is it tourniquet? It's a tourniquet. Tourna is it rhinoceros or rhinoceros is? Rhinoceros. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, taser? Uh, yes, taser, uh, second radio, sec and then we've got our normal city ops channel, we yeah, call your it. Dispatch which channel, is so to speak. Just one single channel for the yeah, city. Right. Um, pepper spray, handcuffs. This is fantastic, is this? Tell us about that there, because I thought that was for breaking windows. For breaking windows? Yeah. Um, I'm going for these spray windows, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary. <laughs> <laughs> so what this is, this is selector DNA, right? Uh, and it's it's a form of smart water. Yeah. So each canister is uniquely identified. Uh, they've got 
tiny, tiny little micro dots which under a microscope show what can it's registered to. Uh, for the City of London, a lot of our crime is two-wheel enabled. Yep. So a lot scooters, of it, um, scooters, theft person, yeah. robberies, that sort of thing, yeah. Yep. If that person then gets picked up next week, next month, and it's on the clothes. month after, yep. it's on their shoes, it's on their face, it's on their clothes, that, that links directly to my can. And, and is I that under ultraviolet quite, light as well? It yeah, comes up, UV so light. So you can't scrub it out. It's, it's in them, it, it's done and dusted. Yeah. So tell us about your car then. What's in it? What do we do with it? How does it work? Shall we sit in it? Shall we have a bit of a play? Yeah, absolutely. Right, you go to your side. Will you open my door for I me? I will indeed. Kiddie locks are on. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sat in the new Volvo XC90. Uh, it's a new turbocharged and supercharged two litre engine. Not six is about 6.4 seconds and a top speed of about 145 mile an hour. Um, 310 brake horsepower, it's all wheel drive, so it's gonna be a good performing vehicle. So one of the things that people ask all the time is, are these vehicles chip? Do you do anything since they come out of the factory uh, and you get hold of them? Do you chip them? Do you change suspension? Do you change exhaust? What do you do on them? There's there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes right. with, our, with our fleet, um, but I couldn't really tell you. I couldn't really, <laughs> couldn't really get much away. Where, where do you get your acting award from? <laughs> Obviously, you've got a very basic interior for a traffic car. You've got a basic camera. Um, you don't have a rear matrix board. Is there any particular reason why? Uh, as you know, the city of London, we've got the ring of steel. Yep, I'm, I know about that. That's got the, quite good, is that, isn't it? It's very good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, and for any vehicle to come through, it's going to hit one of our MPR yeah. cameras. A lot of the criminals don't know they're entering the city of London. Yeah. They don't realise they're entering it. They're simply just coming for a through fare, uh, so they get caught out by it. Those AMPR cameras all link to our phones, and that will do all the noises, all the all the whistles, and tell us that something's coming through. So, in in basic terms, as well, then it must be quite hard to be proactive against stolen cars. You must be massively reactive, though, because you're a ring of steel and how big you are. Within a couple of seconds, you could be either part of your yeah. own personal district, can't you? Over 150 vehicles are stolen every single day throughout the UK, and these are either stolen by a burglary or keel sentry. I have a Golf GTI and due to that I got a ghost immobilizer fitted so no matter what in the middle of the night no one could come into my house or scan my car keys and make off of my vehicle. So everything you need in regards to vehicle theft now contact Safe and Sound Leads. Everything you want in regards to ghost immobilizers, trackers or anything to do with vehicle theft give them a ring. Mark will answer the phone They'll take some details from you and it's really easy. They'll fit it either you're at home or your work and within a couple of hours it's done. It's insurance approved so you get a discount on your insurance um, and then you're going to sleep safely at night in your bed. So if you need anything, contact Safe and Sound at Leeds. So in regards to your... Um, I'm, I'm going, to call it, going to call it a console unit. Tell us about your little it bit. It makes it sound better, it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Console unit. Yeah, console unit. So if you look down to the console unit... The console um, unit. The console unit. Yeah, that's a console um, unit. <laughs> it, it looks like every other police car. Yeah. Uh, we, we've got our nines, our at scene, rear reds. Uh, we can just put some very basic lights on if we're maybe trying to be a little bit more covert in a preemptive job, trying to catch up with vehicles. You know, we could just show the grill lights just so we don't give ourselves way too much. But, but that's it. Apart from a very fancy roof light that because the engine's not on it won't turn up <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. all right there you go yeah. here do you want to show us what's in the boot and what equipment you've got available to you when you open it up and what you can pull out straight away so oh it's nice and clean is that in it it's nice and clean <laughs> not that we did any prep obviously did you back out uh, before um well, <laughs> uh, so uh, we carry uh, the good thing about this is that we can carry a lot of cones in yeah. a lot of forces the XC90s can be used like motorway cars yeah. you know you can carry like 20, 20 cones or whatever right. to literally shut the entire motorway but we've got a lot of cones we've got a mobilisation cable if we right. deem a vehicle to be some unfit that it's just naff just literally due to yeah it's just been it's dangerous just poor condition yeah. we're not letting it go it's going to be done they'll yeah. lock it up there and then yeah which is great uh, we've got a new type of sign sort of tripod ones rather than you know the old flimsy ones yeah blow blow wind. Wind. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, well, <laughs> jinx <laughs> uh, these, these are tripod ones and right. we, we now carry no entry signs keep left keep right right um we've got our stinger yeah we'll love a bit of, we'll love stinger fantastic bit of device we have got a sharp spin 
goggles, throw line. There's a river that goes through London. Yes, right, yeah. Quite a big one. I was going to ask you about this. This river's called the Thames, isn't it? River Thames. Yes. Yeah, river. Yeah, yeah. So how far does your, your line go? So it's, like, it's only a 40 metre right, throw line. That's which... still good enough though, isn't it, for someone that's still struggling as a bit of a lifeline? I think it depends where. I think arguably on some of the bridges, that's not going to be as effective yeah. just because of distance. But all the bridges should have proper, proper throw lines by yeah. the RNLI. Um, but we carry that just in case it's shore retrieval. Yeah. Like we're actually on the shore of uh, side of the River Thames to bring people in. Because ironically, if, even if it were West Yorkshire, we had this chat with uh, Baby Burn last time in North Yorkshire. They've got packs now um, that they throw out, like mm. flying packs. Which, something I'm really happy about our vehicles is that we've got everything, we've got everything we need. You know, although we don't have a motorway, we still carry cones. Because yeah. it could be us going to a job, we end up on the motorway, we end yeah. up on the fast road. So we've you know, we've got everything prepped. And that's why we've got sharp spins, goggles, throw lines, yeah. everything. Uh, advanced first or enhanced first, in, first in, aid kit. What's the difference between enhanced and advanced? It, it's what it's some of those made up words, isn't it? It's like <laughs> not, not quite advanced. Yeah. So it's, it, it, enhanced. It's, it's nearly there. It's it, it's nearly there. So the difference is, is um, similar to what uh, the pre-hospital trauma care officers carry in their bags, uh, is airway adjuncts, yep, like uh, yep. MP, OP airways, yep. uh, like clotting, uh, like clotting aids, like cellox it's called, yeah, like I know what you packing. Mean. Yeah. Uh, it's got uh, loads of tourniquets, probably like four or five tourniquets in there. The, the idea is if, if there was a really big incident, like some of the ones that uh, we, we've had yeah. in, in this area, it just means we'll be able to chuck that first aid kit out and have you know all this kit ready to dish out to people. So if I'm going to throw this to you now, two myths. Give me a myth about traffic cops that you want to call, that you want, that basically it's, uh, it's not real, like doing your grandma or something that people are short time. Uh, I, I, I would say something though, about traffic officers not having a heart and don't, don't yeah. care about people. But you can see that you're a good lad. Yeah, you can see I, you're a fun lad. I, I really care about people. Yeah. And uh, the whole reason I do my job is because I've seen the other sides of where people have got hurt, people yeah. have got killed, and I don't want to see that happen to anyone else. So you're passionate about your own yeah, really and basically passionate. your job is to go out and keep people safe on the yeah. road and that's all it's about isn't it it's about people being safe because you've got to knock on that door and say so and so is not coming home so last but not least if it were down to you what choice of police car would you have for the area you're in i think maybe like a mini cooper all oh, right Oh, that would be nice wouldn't it yeah yeah that would be fantastic yeah well there's your boss over there <laughs> to speak to him. Get him so club, close the boot and last but not least let's do a bit of a criminal test so come round here so i always try and do it and see what it's like going to be like when you lock me up so how comfy it's going to be um, how comfy yeah how comfy it's going to yeah. be leg room and that sort of thing so i'm a criminal now is lock me up what we're going to lock me up for don't say theft of chicken but i wasn't going to say theft of chicken that's all i can think of right now. criminal damage to a badger criminal damage to a badger i've been locked up Badgers Act. Yeah, but you know it though, yeah. yeah. So this is where I go. Um, <clears throat> so, see, don't feel, it feels weird, doesn't it? Does it? It's like very, very small on back. It's like it's like when you're at first school and you sit on a, a kid's seat, and you know what? It just feels like one of them. But as in leg room, brilliant leg room, brilliant head room, and yeah, if I were a criminal. I'd Bit of a, a bit of a eight out of ten for this one, apart from the basic. Trip advisor. Uh, trip advisor. You're going to get about three stars for it on Trip Advisor. Of course. Um, if yeah. you come at City of London, please don't get locked up and don't get thrown in the back of an XC90. Tune in next time and uh, like, respect, click one, whatever. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll try not to get locked in again. <laughs>